Every who down in Whoville liked Christmas a lot, but the Grinch certainly did not. The Grinch hated Christmas the whole Christmas season. Now please don't ask why, no one quite knows the reason. It could be that his head wasn't screwed on quite, quite right, it could be perhaps that his shoes were too tight, but I think the most likely reason of all may have been that his heart was two sizes too small. <laughs> but whatever the reason, his heart or his shoes, he stood there on Christmas Eve hating the Who's, for he knew every Who down in Whoville beneath would soon be hanging a mistletoe wreath. And they're hanging their stockings. Tomorrow's Christmas is practically here. I must find a way to stop Christmas from coming. I'm a little who girl who would with a girl. <laughs> <laughs> then the noise, the noise, noise, noise. <laughs> and then they do something he liked least of all. Every who down in Whoville, the tall and the small, would stand close together with Christmas bells ringing. They'd stand hand in hand, and the who's would start singing. Then he got an idea, an awful idea. The Grinch got a wonderful, awful idea. I know just what to do. With this great Grinchy trick, I'll sew up this coat and this hat. And I'll look just like Santa. <laughs> now all I need is reindeer. The Grinch looked around, but since reindeers are scarce, there was none to be found. The Grinch simply said, If I can't find a reindeer, I'll make it. <laughs> so he called his dog Max, then he took some red thread, and he tied a big horn to the top of his head. Then he loaded some bags and some old empty sacks on a ramshackle sleigh, and he hitched up old Max. The old Grinchy Claus hissed and climbed to the roof, empty bags in his fist. Then he slid down the chimney, a rather tight pinch, but if Santa could do it, then so could the Grinch. Then he slithered and slunk with a smile most unpleasant around the whole room and he took every present. And the Grinch grabbed the tree and started to shove when he heard a small sound like the coo of a dove. He turned around fast and he saw Cindy Lou Who. And the fan fooled the child, so he patted her head and sent her to bed. It was a quarter past dawn, all the who's still in bed, all the who's still a snooze, when he packed up his sled. 3,000 feet up, up the side of Mount Crumpet, he rode to the tip top to dump it. over the snow. It started in low and then it started to grow. But the sound wasn't sad. Why the sound sounded merry? He stared down at Whoville. <laughs> the, the Grinch popped his eyes. Then he shook. What a shocking surprise. Everyone, every who down in Whoville, the tall and the small, was singing without any presents at all. He hadn't stopped Christmas from coming, and the Grinch, with his Grinch feet ice cold in the snow, stood puzzling and puzzling. And he puzzled three hours till his puzzler was sore. Then the Grinch thought of something he hadn't before.
And what happened then? Well, in Whoville, they say that the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. And the minute his heart didn't feel quite so tight, he whizzed with his load through the bright morning light. And he brought back the toys and the food for the feast, and then he himself cut the roast beast.